patients of gastric bypass surgery are eating less and paying less. The WLC discount card allows post-surgery patients the option of getting reduced portions at participating restaurants and paying a lot less for them. But with the ever-increasing waistline of Americans, shouldn't everyone have the choice for smaller meals and smaller bills? Yes, yes, yes. you like yes. that, right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Like that. likes it. Good idea. So, so a study found that 96% of America's chain restaurants, 96% of the entrees contain more fat, more saturated fat, more sodium per meal than USDA recommendations. So that oh, means yeah. almost any meal you pick at these chain restaurants is going to be too much. One of the reasons is uh, portion sizes uh, since the 1950s have more than tripled now than they were. And when you think about it, it's not ago. just supersizing, it's supersizing with the wrong stuff in it. What the restaurants are doing with those bigger meals is gimmick to try mm -hmm. and get you to come in and yep. spend more yep. and that type of thing. But what a lot of people will do is they'll order appetizer sizes or oh, yeah. children's sizes. Mm -hmm. And some of the surgeons now, they do a special card with their bariatric patients. So it's yeah. called a weight loss surgery card. I don't know if you all have heard of this, but card carriers in select places in the select restaurants, they can actually go in, order smaller portion sizes, and actually get a discount, which it yeah, sure like makes that. sense, that right? That makes a lot of sense, although yeah. it makes me want to do a card for my patients before they need the weight loss surgery. Just a, I'll call it a I don't want to be fat card. <laughs> and I'll, you know, that way, you know, everybody could have one of those and you don't need the weight loss surgery. Yeah. And, and this is all a perfect segue to our next topic, but do you know how much the average person saves in a year if they cut 100 calories from their diet? It's about $175 Ooh. a year. So That's it's great. also a great way to save money. And that mm -hmm. actually does lead us to our next subject. This is about weight loss, or this isn't about weight loss surgery. This is a tweet which reads, if you eat less, can you actually shrink your stomach to lose weight? Sadly, you can't just shrink your stomach. Now, what's going on in some of these bariatric surgeries is that Surgically, they are shrinking your stomach. Yeah. Yes. But, but what you can do by eating less, because your stomach is a dynamic organ. It stretches. It can stretch yeah. quite large. I mean, and people, people who think eat if a you lot. If you, if you don't eat that much, then it's going to eventually shrink down. Right. That's what a lot of people think. But what I will say is that if you're constantly used to eating really large meals, your stomach can get to the point where it accommodates that. Mm -hmm. And by eating smaller meals, you are teaching your stomach. In, it's not going to shrink. No. But I do think that you're teaching yourself to feel satiated mm -hmm. without your stomach maybe expanding to right. two times its normal yeah, size. Yeah, I call that the appetite thermostat. You know, you kind of reset your thermostat and you'll feel full sooner with a, a less full stomach.